What's up, people? <laughs> I'm back in Japan, and I'm making a weird cat. So, it's weird. Uh, I have a suitcase next to me. This was my... Anyway, I'm just gonna talk about this. I have this um, carry-on bag next to me, and for the first time ever at the uh, airport, when I checked in, they wanted to weigh my carry-on bag. And I'm like, okay, sure. And they weighed it, and it was 17.5 kilograms. And apparently, unbeknownst to me at the time, uh, Asian Airlines <laughs> um, has like an eight, I think it's eight kilogram limit for carry-on bag. I weigh 115, like why are we worried about my bag, you know? <laughs> anyway, so I had no time and I had already packed all my check-in luggage like to the gills, like it was, it weighed it, it was the, the limit. So I had no choice, I had to uh, check my carry-on bag. And that sucks for two reasons, well three really, one being just that sometimes when you check your luggage, weird things happen. But the second being that I have acted as a carry-on bag because a lot of the things in there are actually me and I didn't want them to be thrown around. And third, because I had to pay $200. So that sucked a lot. Because my whole ticket round trip was I think 14, not even like 1200 maybe. And I had to pay 200 on top of that just to check the stupid bag. And I had read about the luggage requirements and stuff and I didn't see anything about this. So I informed them that I would not be traveling with them anymore. Not that they care, you know? I mean, the people you talk to, they don't care. So, anyway, this is my bag, and it's wicked. I mean, 18 kilos or whatever is not that light. So, that's it, right? And I didn't even expand it. It's expandable, but I didn't expand it because I was like, you know, I want to make sure it fits in the overhead compartment. And <laughs> now that I'm picking it up, I'm like, yeah, it is a bit heavy. But, anyway, it's the first time I never had it weighed in. Maybe like a certain weight is uh, Korean Airlines, I believe. The limit is 18 kilos. So if that had been the limit, it would have been cool. So I just, I got, I got screwed. So I have yet to open this bag. I've been home almost a week. I got home Sunday night. And it's been a stressful week for reasons that I will leave aside. But um, yeah, let's let's open the bag. It's gonna, uh, this bag is basically full of NES games. Like I, there are a few other things I don't remember what else I put in here. But I'm hoping they all survived. What happened is over the course of the last year, I ordered well, and I had some already too, at the in the U.S. And then I ordered some more on eBay or whatever. And uh, I didn't put them all in here, but I put a lot of them in here because I'm trying to get most of my game collection in Japan. So why are you on top of my bag? Right. So let's open it up. Let's see. I'll push this back a little bit so I can put the bag on the table. And, okay, I'm gonna have to stand up for this. Hello, cat. Uh huh. <coughs> okay, look out! It's heavy. Maybe I should open it the other way. <coughs> I can say, though, that I used to, I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm 39. I turned 39 on August 19th. I used to travel without using proper luggage. And, I can't go back. It's so much better. Like obvious, it's an obvious thing, but having good luggage is so worth it. Not like amazingly good luggage, but you know, good luggage. Okay. Hmm. Well, at first glance, it doesn't look too bad. You can kind of see a little bit of it there, right? That's the top layer. And then when I open it. Here's some sunglasses. Here's a silver uh, Mario Amiibo. Crow, you're cool. I I found out I found this one in another one boxed, so you don't have to send me that one. But I definitely still want that other one that we talked about. Here's a little bit more of a look at the thing, and you can. These are all manuals, and then this is a Mecha. Sorry, Mecha is Japanese. A very munted Final Fantasy manual. And that was like somebody threw that in when I ordered stuff. My cat's playing with this strap. And wow, there's some Game Boy games. 
I just want to show you how I've got stuff in there so you can see what it's like. <sighs> see? Like that's that's my whole carry-on bag pretty much. And then there's more in here and there's this pocket. So, sorry my head's, not that you need to see my face, but. Okay, let's open this first. Find out what's broken. <laughs> oh man, there's gotta be something just busted out. So right on top is uh, just a case for blazing lasers uh, to, for the turbo graphics. I have the game, but I didn't have the actual manual in case, so now I can make it complete. And I mean, that was right on top, but it's not. I think I already had that crack, so maybe I got lucky on this one, except for the $200. And then basically all the rest, as you can kind of see, is, oh, and then one more. This game I bought when I went with Keith, um, Mr. Dude 206, to uh, another. I forgot the name of the game, so. Another something. Anyway, Keith Courage and Alpha Zone. So this is only my second Turbo Graphics game, because all I have is PC Engine stuff. I mean, they're saying they're Japanese. So anyway, now I own two. I mean, Blazing Lasers, if you're gonna have one, is pretty much one of the ones you'd want. Okay, so I want to fly through this just to kind of show you. It looks like maybe I got, I was fortunate and the, the stuff didn't get crushed, but I may, it remains to be seen really. But I'm going to get this bag out of the way and uh, just start showing games. Sorry. And uh, just slide it over. go get a haircut but I want to get this video done. Well, those are just yeah it looks like my sunglasses survived. Yay. Here we go. I need a cleaning but otherwise they're good. Happy about that because these aren't Walmart sunglasses. <clears throat> um since it's right in front of me I'll go through the manuals first. And these are just you know Manuals that I had, and then I bought some again with Keith at the game store. Which why can't I remember? Another, another, another something. Another paradise. Another I don't know what. And they were just you know not expensive, and I wanted them. So come on, Kitty, go somewhere else for a while. We'll hang out. So I'll fly through this. Super Mario Brothers 2, Fester's Quest, Monopoly. And these are all, all should be for games that I have without the manual. So I'll be making them more complete than they are now. Cat, no, go back here, do something else. Apparently the cats have gotten pretty good at turning on my PS4 because they did it again. And you can see when my head's in the way. The slime is not there, it's uh, over here now because they knocked it off, which sucks, the slime. Um, and there's an air cleaner thing right next to the kitty litter box, which cleans the air. And I didn't think it really worked, but it does, because when they, sometimes they push the button and turn it off, you can tell the difference. R2 for R. I was just playing this on the, it's back there too. Here, oh, everything's backwards. Uh, Xbox One Rare Replay, that thing's amazing. If you have an Xbox One, buy that yesterday. It's, it's, there's so much stuff on there, it's nuts. Uh, and also another game I got for Xbox One. I was just playing Witcher 3, by the way, on PS4. Uh, we'll see how far I get. Um, anyway, was uh, Toy Soldiers War Chest. That's a tower defense game. I played the first two on Xbox 360, and I was so happy to see that there was a physical release. Um, I didn't know there was going to be one, so I scooped that up. And you know, it's rare to find a console release, a physical release of a tower defense game, and it's pretty good. I've been killing bad guys as He-Man. Not Nazis, uh, it's World War One, so I got that wrong, I fixed it. Anyway, Legacy of the Wizard. This one, very rare, but I didn't have it, so. <laughs> I feel like, I don't know, I don't know. Anyway. Uh, I've said this before, the Guardian Legend, if you wanna just play the shooter levels, just put in T-G-L. Starship Hector. Oh, Air Fortress. Breakthrough. I love the design on this cover. Reminds me of um, 
Fallout 3 action. And now this one. Now I've got it. Didn't have this one. Now I've got it. Oh, this one's a bit munted. That's shocking. I don't know where these came from, but oh well. Here's a munted Operation Wolf manual. And a munted The Black Bass manual. All kinds of passcodes on it. You want those black bass, man. That's you need those passcodes. Hot B made a good shooter game though for the Sega Genesis, well, Mega Drive. Uh, I want to say Hot B made Steel Empire. I don't know. Dig Dug 2? A little bit munted. But I'd rather have a munted manual than no manual at all. And this is this is Taito something. I don't know what that goes to though. Maybe here. Okay, get off of me! Go away! Joe and Mac. Vice Project Doom. Now, Mr. Dude gave me this box, and I can't remember if it was missing the manual and I'm replacing it now, or I don't know what's happening. But anyway, I've got it. Uh, here we go, King of the Ring. And, oh wow, that is just dirty. This is Dr. Mario, and it says someone's phone number on the back. All right, so those are some manuals, and I showed you the Super Munted Final Fantasy one, but as I said before, I'd rather have munted manuals than no manuals at all. Send me your munted manuals, but not if you want anything in return, because I'm kind of taking a break from that whole scene. Okay. Plaques, which I got from Captain SNK, I believe, a while back. Platoon. Most of these games are just kind of average, but there are a few good ones in here. A few nice ones. Black Bass. There you go. Got the manual for that too. Ghostbusters. It's a little dark. Sorry about that. Cats. Let's put the suitcase again. Orb. 3D. And the Little Mermaid. Uh, so much nostalgia just handling these carts. Willow and Jaws. But why are you so dark? All the lights are on. I don't know. Maybe I can fix it in the ending. Who framed Roger Rabbit? Little League Baseball Championship Series SNK. The Little League World Series games on the 360 and PS3 and Wii are awesome if you like arcade baseball. Uh, they are hidden gems because they're awesome. If you want like more realistic kind of sim baseball or whatever, the show is amazing, but for just arcade stuff, those Little League World Series games are awesome. Caesar's Palace, Ferguson, Mystery Quest. Hmm. Right. Um, wow, I just realized that I said Ferguson, Mystery Quest. Whatever. Back to the Future, and Monopoly. Cat has a snip each and every card that I add to the file. Just give them a sniff check. Dick, Tracy, and Indiana Jones in the Temple of Doom. And is there anything in this pocket? Oh, look, it's the charger for my Apple Watch, which I have hardly used yet, but I don't know, it's all right. Seems like a, it could be useful sometimes. I don't really use the fitness apps, because I reckon, what do I need to know? I ran yesterday for like, I don't know, 10 minutes and I walked for whatever, and it's, why do I need to think other than my, my pulse? Maybe it needs to tell me that I'm about to kill myself because my pulse is too high, I don't know. Anyway, but I, I liked it because when I was driving, I had the GPS stuff, you know, my phone is in the car. Whenever I needed to turn, it'd be like, boop, boop, you need to turn right. That was kind of cool. Bimba. Sorry, it's a little dark. Uh, Goonies 2. Hogan's Alley. And gum shoe. But they, oh, this one does have five screws. Not that that's really important for me since I, I don't need the adapter thingy, but whatever. Athletic World, uh, Shingen the Ruler. I feel like I have this one here in Japan already, but it's cool to have doubles. I'll take them to the other house or trade them or something. Bad Dudes and a Steinax. There's a lot of games here, so um, when I was with Mr. Dude, I bought a uh, NES cartridge case, and in that cartridge case, there were a bunch of these sleeves, so I took the sleeves out and brought them back, but I didn't have room for the cartridge case this time, and you're getting on my nerves. 
Yeah. Bases loaded. Two. Second season. Um, a pretty munted. This is sad. I, I wanted Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers and I got it, but the label is trashed. But I've got it anyway. Go away. You're gonna go in the cage in a minute. Sheesh. Hang out down here. <laughs> Uh, what's this one? NES Play Action Football. Sweating. Pictionary. 15 minutes. Oh, my head. Roger Clemens, MVP Baseball. Ah. Uh -huh. And. Wow, that label. Gretzky Hockey. Oh, Wayne Gretzky Hockey. I think it might be time to turn up the air con. Okay, so, I'm, yeah, it looks like we've just got more cards. There might even be some doubles in the bag, because I bought some... I bought some lots. <laughs> wow, I dropped Strider, and again, the label is super munted. <sighs> I bought some lots, and so of course I'm going to get some doubles. Rambo. Legacy of the Wizard. Total Recall. I love uh, Sega Genesis Mega Drive games as well, but they don't have the nostalgia for me, it's more just like, this is a, such an amazing console. I love this game, I played it on the Commodore 64 with my dad, Russian Attack. I think it's called Green Beret also. Um, what am I on about? Yeah, but no, even though like these aren't, most of these games aren't as good as most of the Sega like, Genesis games, like the, the nostalgia is off the charts, right? And to have a, a big stack of, you know, uh, NES games like this, so right. So, I went to some trouble to bring these back. And I, it basically cost me $200. <laughs> uh, but it'd still be a lot cheaper than if I were to buy them in Japan. So, obviously not saying every game. Commando. And I need to go over my, my blog list and make sure Amagon that I have all these on the list. I'm not sure that I do at the moment. World Class Track Meet. Cat. I understand you're curious and that's cool, but just right now, not the best time. Your brother's sleeping. Why don't you join him? Uh, okay. What's this? I bought this because it's kind of a, it's a shooter, Thunderbirds. I think I saw a Luke Morse video about it and I thought I should get that. And I have the Famicom one as well. This I remember buying because Chad Bailey recommended it. This is the Creon Conquest. He said it's quite good, so I bought it. And I, I can't tell you how happy I am to have all these like full-on childhood American NES carts here in Japan. Like it's it's so nice. Even if I never play some of them, just having them there like this stacked up where you can see the labels. John Elway's quarterback. Cousin and I used to play quite a lot of that. Karate champ. I feel like we used, there was a bug or something that we used on that. This one is like a dollar game, right? But I played a lot of this when I was growing up. And I remember I, I bought it with my own money because I was like, this game has so many events. It'll be such a great value for the money. Uh, okay, so here's a copy of Contra, which I already have. So I'll figure out which one's better and put the other one in my doubles pile and maybe take it to the other house. I don't know. This one, I don't know much about this game other than it's wicked expensive. <laughs> and I got it. It's called Contra Force. Perhaps you've heard of it. I bought the threesome of that and Super Contra. I had Super Contra and Contra, but again, I don't know what the condition is like. I bought all three. Got a pretty decent deal. Pretty, really good deal, actually. So now I get to finally play this. And now I have both cats here on the table. So, whatever. I'm just gonna keep plugging along. This one, I feel like Mr. Dude might have sent me. I don't know. Sesame Street 1, 2, 3, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, Wheel of Fortune, over a thousand new puzzles, family edition, based on the number one hit TV game show. What are you doing? Foxes, Peter Pan and the Pirates. This one I bought because I just have never heard of it. And I was like, well, that's interesting. Um, also with Mr. Dude. He's like, dude, I don't know anything about that game either, so I scooped it up. Iron Sword, Wizards and Warriors 2. Stop. Mm. Better than meowing, I guess. Wrath of the Black Manta. Gauntlet 2. This pile is getting pretty high. There's about, I don't know, a dozen games in three piles. 
Go away. Go away. Go do other cat things besides be annoying. I still have loads of games to show you. I, I got a lot of them. Well, it was, it's basically 16 kilos, because you know, the bag has weight to about 16 kilos of NES games. Bayou Billy. Solstice. Which, I think, uh, uh, Sprites and Bites sent me the boxed PAL copy of this. What's this? Vegas Dream with a Goodwill sticker on it. Spy Hunter. Days of Thunder. Uh, did I already show this one? I feel like I did. Oops. Wizards and Warriors. And Kid Nicky, Radical Ninja. Oh, more. Wow, this is a lot of games. Jeopardy! Destination Earth Star. Back to the Future, two and three. Tag Team Match Muscle. Road Blasters. I don't know, whatever. The Guardian Legend. Rally Bike. Burger Time. Definitely some double engine here. Stop that. Uh, I was in a hurry when I packed my bag. Okay, stop it. Cyberball. Heavy Shredding. Dash Galaxy in the Alien Asylum. Super Glove Ball. Star Tropics. Listening. Robocop. Skate or die. Funhouse. Oh, and if you're wondering, I'm not going for a full NES set. I'm just going for a huge NES set. Like, if I don't get them all, which I don't plan to, it's cool. But the more I have, awesome. Because I just, it's the nostalgia. It's the nostalgia, people. More. <laughs> Blades of Steel, I think this is a replacement because I had one that was had a ripped label. Fester's Quest. The Karate Kid. I was watching, I forget who put it up, but someone. Uh, like a, an alternate way to look at the Karate Kid that actually Danny is the bully. I don't know, Abadox. maybe. Ski or die. Some of these are pretty dang munted. The Simpsons, Bart vs. the World. This label is trashed. Stop eating my bag. Oh, this one's pretty bad too on the top. Metal Gear. Get out of there. And Super Team Games. Onigiri's becoming more and more aggressive now. He's like biting my bag and reaching inside of it. So that's why I'm putting it behind me immediately. Dude, you don't need to check out. <laughs> gotcha. No, that's not a place for you to step. Ah, now you're knocking him over. Ah, <laughs> uh -huh. okay. Platoon. Operation Wolf. <laughs> As Game of Emporium once said, and I laughed. Sorry, man, it's Wolf. <laughs> Throw me a bone here. Cats are really interested in the NES cards. I'm sure there's all kinds of interesting scents coming from them. Respite. Ah! Okay. Ta 
Tag Team Wrestling. Time Lord. Kung Fu Heroes. Uh, Infiltrator. A lot of these I've never played. Racket Attack. The Mafat Conspiracy. <laughs> okay, looks like about five more. Exactly five more. Ninja Kid. Roller Games. Lunar Pool. Rescue, the Embassy Mission. Obviously, I didn't put a lot of thought into which one's got sleeves. Bases loaded three. <sighs> Cats are so excited. They've got many things to play with. One thing about being back in the States, like in Japan during the summer, I always have a hand towel with me. I didn't need it in the States, because it's just, or at least in Oregon, because where I was, it wasn't that humid. It was just, it was awesome. So, okay. I think all that's left is a couple things. I went ahead and brought back this controller that was, I don't know if it was thrown in or if I bought it or it was part of a lot or what. And then here are some Game Boy games, and I think it was like a lot of four, and I really wanted one of the games, but I don't remember. So I'm gonna open them, show you those, and then I'll be done. It's only 26 minutes, you know, but I showed a lot of stuff, right? Okay, this is Initial D, Gaiden, for the Game Boy. This is Choplifter 2, for the Game Boy. And these are, I think they're both Japanese versions, so I don't really know what's going on here. Anyway, this is Night Gundam, some Gundam game that I'll never play for the Game Boy. And, oh, this is why I bought it. Sagaya for the Game Boy. Okay, that's it. That's everything in the bag. Oh, wait, no, it's not. I think I lied to you. I think there's more. Let's have a look inside. This little pocket here. No? Is that everything? It is everything. Now I've just got cats in my suitcase. So, I'll get them out. And stuff. Oh, sorry, buddy. Thank you for watching. Come here, Crouton, before you knock over the stacks and stacks of NES games. Oh! Okay, whatever. So, he doesn't want to say goodbye. Maybe he's just trying to say goodbye. Bye bye. Okay. I'm becoming like the cat lady. It's scary. I'm just using my laptop to film this, so I'll just give you a, a little, see, see what's happening here? Like, I don't know if you can see, there's all this stuff. Woohoo! Bye-bye!